Welcome to Dell EMC Data Domain How To Series Upgrading Data Domain Reference Dell EMC Knowledge Base Article Number 545332 This video was created to Demonstrate the data domain upgrade process This is to make upgrades easier to accomplish Note that this procedure is not for DDHA. This video presents the following. How to log into the data domain server. Download and upload the code version upgrade packages. Perform pre and post upgrade health checks. And the upgrade commands. Before you start. Make sure you read the KB article carefully, also check the compatibility and if MDU upgrade will be needed. Before you start, download the target code upgrade file, then upload it to the server. To do this, open the Dell support website and log in with your username and password. Search for the target code version. Under the Resources pane, select Downloads and Drivers, then click on Data Domain Operating System of the target code version. In this video we are upgrading Data Domain to version 620.35. Scroll down to the last page, then click I Accept. It will open a new page, scroll down to the last page, click on the RPM file to start download. Once the download is complete, open the Data Domain Manager. Use this admin as your username, then type your password to log in. Navigate to the Maintenance tab. Click on Upload Upgrade Package. Select Browse, Locate and select the file, then click OK. Open a PuTTY session. Type the IP address or the host name of the data domain server. Log in using the sysadmin account. First, validate the serial number and the host name of the data domain server. Do this by running the system show serial number and host name commands as indicated. Confirm you have the correct IP address of the server to be upgraded. Confirm this data domain is not part of an IDPA. If it is part of an IDPA, it should be upgraded within the IDPA upgrade. Check the current code version installed. By running the system, show version command. Check if any alerts discovered, if yes, determine whether it can be cleared, or an action needs to be taken. Double check to make sure the error is not a showstopper for the upgrade. Now check the file system status. And make sure it states file system is enabled and running. Confirm the post comp partition has at least 10% free space, by running the df command. Check if the cleaning process is running. If yes, stop the cleaning process before proceeding with the upgrade. Check if cloud tier is enabled. If yes, stop any data movement or running cloud cleaning processes.
Check the replication configuration using replication show config command. If it shows zero in the CTX column, it means it's mirroring and both servers need to be upgraded at the same time. To check if any jobs are running, run replication show stats command. If initialization is in progress, it needs to be stopped before proceeding with the upgrade. If only replication jobs are running, we can proceed with the upgrade normally. Check for disk reconstructions or failed disks, and perform disk reliability check. Please note that the disk reliability check is not valid for DDVZ. Check the network traffic and ensure that no backups or restores are running, then press Ctrl-C to exit the loop. Check for any running NFS or CIFS jobs, and stop them. Now log into the SE mode. The default password for SE mode is the serial number. Check the registry is healthy by running the reg check command to validate all pass. As indicated. Finally, check that the upgrade file is correctly placed in the DDR var releases directory. Now it is time to reboot the system, before we start the upgrade. To monitor the system, open a command prompt. And ping the data domain IP address. Ping the host IP. When the host is back online, restart the PuTTY session, and log in using the sysadmin account. Run system show serial number. Check that the system state is good after the reboot. List the content of DDR var releases to get the code version upgrade file. The last step, before starting the upgrade, is to run the upgrade pre-check. The upgrade pre-check, validates the integrity of the package. Do not run the upgrade if issues are detected, which may cause the upgrade, to fail. Once the upgrade pre-check is done, make sure it states, upgrade pre-check found no issues. Now upgrade can be started. To start the upgrade, type system, upgrade, start, then copy and paste the upgrade RPM file. When the upgrade starts, it runs the upgrade pre-check again, then it installs the code version. Finally it reboots the data domain. After the upgrade pre-check is done, the workflow starts the installation. Monitor the workflow until it reboots the server. Now it prepares the system to reboot, shutting down the file system. To monitor the file system, ping the host through command line.
Once the system is online, restart the PuTTY session, then log in. Monitor the upgrade by using the system, upgrade watch, command. When completed, the message, upgrade successfully completed will be displayed. The last step is to validate the installed version is the correct upgraded version, and also, check the file system status and alerts. Validate all checks passed. Thank you for watching.